Morning, everybody. It's uh, 843 and this is Wednesday morning's pre-market open. It is video number 1004. Okay, there was uh, supposed to be a bunch of news, but I've only seen part of it. So we'll get to that. Asia is down. Europe is uh, kind of unchanged. They're waiting there to see what the Fed does. Like it's going to be a big surprise. Uh, the ADP number for payrolls came out at plus 571,000. Uh, that would be up 3,000 from uh, last month's read, except that last month's read was result. Re revised down to 523. So uh, it actually looks a little better than it is, but uh, we'll see on Friday what our numbers look like. Okay, um, Allbirds, the uh, sneaker company, uh, pegged its price at $15. Uh, T-Mobile uh, missed on revenues, beat on earnings. The stock had closed 115.80. Traded as high as 121.10 on the uh, news. Last is 119.10, up 3.30 or 2.85%. Uh, the John Deere workers voted. They are still on strike. The stock closed yesterday 355.20, which is down a bit. Uh, this morning it is down a little bit more of a bit. 347.55, down 7.55 or 2.1%. Uh, as I mentioned uh, last night, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond in a deal with Kroger, the stock had closed 1675, rallied all the way up to 32. However, uh, in today's market, it could only get up to 2940. The last is 2599, up nine and a quarter, or 57 percent. Still. Um, quite a performance. Uh, Activision Blizzard gave poor guidance and has uh, two games that are being delayed. Uh, it closed yesterday at 77.67 and this morning uh, traded as low as 67.76. The last is towards that low, uh, 68.22, down 9.45 or 12%. And R.R. Donnelly, this is a pretty major um printing company. Uh, they used to do all kinds of stuff for uh, public companies, prospectuses, etc. Uh, the stock had a high back about 15 years ago of 70. Um, it has since traded as low as a dollar, uh, but uh, they are taking the company private, it looks like, and uh, the stock, which got as high as 10 and a half on the news, currently trading 929 up 267 or 40%. So it's come a long way down, but um, it looks like there are reasons that management wants to own it. Um, before the uh, ADP numbers came out, the Dow was down 43, now down 60. Uh, NASDAQ was up 25, now up 12. And um, the S&P was down three, it's now down five. Certainly these markets deserve a little bit of a rest after the magnificent run that they've had. The thing that I don't understand, even though... Um, even though uh, it was unusual and run by one stock, that being Avis. Nobody is talking about the transports confirming the Dow's move after, um, you know, after uh, the industrials had been constantly making new eyes and had company in the NASDAQ, the S&P, and now um, the Russell. Um, you know, the averages are the averages. And the fact that one uh, stock warped those averages is not really the issue. You know, in any event, nobody talking about it. Okay, oil, the screen right here. Down a uh, dollar ninety one has been down slightly more than that. Uh, was down to eighty one seventy nine, which would have been about two twelve. Um, this is kind of interesting because we had the new high. I pointed out that it was the fourth week outside 
the upper Bollinger Band, and we made a lower high here and have rolled over a little. Now, we've seen this repeatedly. Um, it clearly bounced here off the 20 day two days in a row and moved higher, but could not make a new high. Uh, the five day is rolling over a bit. Uh, this right here where we are right now would be the lowest close in the oil uh, going back all the way to um, 1018. So about two and a half weeks ago, uh, you know, we are along the SCO, which is the inverse and, um, you know, it's been a horrendous trade uh, because it looked like we were breaking all of these times and we turned right back up. But uh, we'll have to see how this looks and uh, if the Fed news or any of the other information that comes later in the day has any effect on this. Uh, grains are basically unchanged, some up a few, some down a few, but uh, really not much, with the exception of the oats, which are down um, 20 cents a bushel. Uh, as I said, the oil's down, that gas is up. We also had earnings today. Uh, they're on the Discord page uh, for Tellurian. Uh, a loss of four cents, which is better than expected. I assume that's why the stock has been up the last couple of days. Gold down another nine, but silver up four. That was warped in the other direction yesterday. Uh, the cotton basically unchanged, coffee up a little, uh, lumber up a little, uh, the Dow futures, S&P, et cetera, we've already gone over. Uh, the dollar is down about seven cents. Bitcoin down 11.85, Ethereum up 13, and uh, the bonds are up 15.30 seconds. All right, everyone, be careful out there. Uh, this market is very strange. Have a good night.